The Sunday Holy Mass will be telecast live from the Verbum TV Chapel, Devatta. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, and brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Today, the third Sunday of Easter. And also, we celebrate the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker. And we know there is very little of things said about St. Joseph in the Gospel and in, in Scripture. But it is said he is an upright man, a man of honor, a man of respect, a man of dignity. The man who always thought of others than of himself. Man who toiled for the betterment of the family. Man who toiled genuinely. Man who toiled for others' welfare. Having him as our patron saints today. Let us pray as he fostered the holy family that he may also foster all of us to be like Jesus to make ourselves to be like Jesus and also let us pray today people also, all those who labor and especially those people who labor and who have been exploited and people who don't really get for what they work and what they toil, what they labor. And let us pray for those people and join hands and ask God's grace and blessings for all of them. And also let us pray for ourselves on this day as we are in the third Sunday of Easter, that this Easter joy may bring us the grace of God, the love of Jesus, and the full of resurrection power to live a life which always pleases God. 
having these thoughts in our minds, let us recall to our mind all our sins and failures and ask pardon from our loving Father that we may be worthy participants of these holy mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to, and to my, my brothers and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your people exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that, rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest questioned the apostles, saying, we strictly charged you not to teach in this name, yet here you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching, and you intend to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised Jesus, whom you killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior, to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. 
and we are witnesses to these things and so is the holy spirit whom god has given to those who obey him they charged the apostles not to speak in the name of jesus and let them go when they left the presence of the council rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer dishonor for the name the word of god thanks be to god your response i will praise you lord you have rescued me i will praise you lord you have rescued me i will praise you lord you have rescued me and have not let my enemies rejoice over me o lord you have raised my soul from the dead restored me to life from those who sink into the grave i will praise you lord you have rescued me sing psalms to the lord you who love him give thanks to his holy name his anger lasts but a moment His favor through life at night there are tears but joy comes with dawn I will praise you Lord you have rescued me The Lord listened and had pity the Lord came to my help for me you have changed my mourning into dancing O oh Lord my God I will thank you forever I will praise you Lord you have rescued me A reading from the book of Revelation I John looked and i heard around the throne and the living creatures and the elders the voice of many angels numbering myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands saying with a loud voice worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing and i heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all therein saying to him who sits upon the throne and to the lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might for ever and ever and the four living creatures said amen and the elders fell down and worshiped the word of god Thanks be to God. Gospel acclamation. open to us the scriptures make our hearts burn within us while you talk to us The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St John. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Jesus revealed himself again to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias and he revealed himself in this way. Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee and two others of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat. But that night they caught nothing. Jesus, as day was, just as day was breaking, Jesus stood on the beach. Yet the disciples did not know what it was that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you any fish? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast it, and now they were not able to hold it in for the quantity of fish. The disciples whom Jesus loved, said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on his clothes, for he was stripped off for work, and sprang into the sea. But the other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far from the land, but about a hundred yards off. When they got out on the land, they saw a charcoal fire there, with fishing, with fish lying on it, and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and hauled the net ashore full of large fish, a hundred and fifty-three of them. And although there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. Now none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the fish. This was now the third time that Jesus was revealed to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. This is the saving gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends in Christ, it's quite natural that when our hopes, when our dreams are not fulfilled, to get back, to turn back, to fall down, to get discouraged. Because when we try our best and we even all the try that we keep on, are failed, the tendency is to withdraw. Today we see in the gospel a similar situation where disciples having high hopes in their master, Jesus Christ. Now all the hopes are gone. He is dead and gone. He is no more with them. All the words and all the political uh, freedom that they were thinking of is just demolished. Their castle is demolished. Their kingdom is demolished. to their past jobs. That's why we see today in the gospel, Peter and his friends are returning to the same job that they were doing. Today also we celebrate 
the feast of St. Joseph. I feel kind of a comparison of Peter and companions and St. Joseph. St. Joseph having high hopes to get the hand of the woman whom he is betrothed to, Mary. Having those hopes, he is numbering the dates that are, and counting the dates, thinking that I will marry this beautiful lady one day and get settled in life. But all of a sudden, all the dreams are collapsed. And one day, she comes out with a message saying that she is pregnant. My dear friends, at this situation, Joseph, having all his dreams and hopes shattered, he decides, I just can't betray this woman because I have loved her so much and I have dreamed of having a life together, a family together with her. But I cannot just betray saying that this child is not mine. But what can I do is to leave her. Just go back. Once again to go back. My dear friends, both the scenario is the same. But at this time, the very intervention of God is so vivid that God enters into the scene and changes the whole situation. And in the life of Joseph, we see when uh, Joseph thought about it, Gabriel, the angel, archangel, came to him and said, don't be afraid to take Mary because it is the God's son. She has been touched by God. So don't worry. You can start the, the life again with her. And he was ready then and there to take her and start the life which is full of chaos and struggles. And in the gospel we see once again, Peter and the rest of the disciples together with John, when Jesus came to them again, performing the same miracle that he performed at the very beginning of their call and again inviting them, don't leave, don't let go, don't get discouraged. Life is full of struggles, my dear friends. This is what happens. Life is full of struggles, full of riots, full of resolutions, and full, full of uh, frustrations. That's life. Today we see, but every time when we are discouraged, every time when we are left alone, every time when we feel that there is no one to help, there is someone to help. There is one who always stand by the side of us as God stood by the side of St. Joseph and as Jesus stood by, the, by his disciples, he is always there to stand with us at any moment and at any given circumstances. This is what we need to believe. This is what we need to grab and hold, my dear friends in Christ. Without a cross, we cannot have a throne. Without, without a cross, we cannot have a throne. And without commitment, we cannot have success. Every time when we tread on life, Life is full of struggles. Today, the word struggle has, has been very common to us these days, of course. Because people are struggling. Struggling to live. Struggling to live a life uh, which 
at least you know, life of dignity. Today, people find it very difficult to live a dignified life because of the situation. But it's a fight. We need to fight back. Fight not alone. Fight with the Lord. Our fight is not just to eat, my dear friends. Our fight is not just to provide things for us, to be comfortable, no. Our fight is to live an upright life, a life of resurrection, a life of uh, eternity. It is not just a momentary life that we need to provide everything for our, for our good and for our comf uh, comfort. It is more than that. Because today the Lord invites us not to leave things behind, not to go back to the life that we want, but struggle, fight, and live an upright life as St. Joseph lived, as the disciples lived. And it, the opportunity cost may be greater. The cost of discipleship is greater. That's why we see Peter and the John and the rest of the disciples have to pay their cost. The cost is greater. But the cost, the greater the cost, the greater the merits and the grace that we receive. So don't be afraid and don't get yourself excited with the things that are happening around us. Things will happen. We will fall. Sometimes the struggles will come in life. Sometimes frustrations may creep into us. Sometimes our hopes will be just shattered. But the hope that we'll keep in the Lord will never be put to shame. So let us have the hope. Hope of resurrection. Because He always gives us a hope that will always be fulfilled. He will provide us with a dream that will always be realized in life. So my dear friends, today as we uh, are being invited to hold it because our net will be full of fish. Don't worry. The Lord will be our provisioner and our net will be full of fish because but we may have to always listen to the Lord and execute the word. Because his word may be difficult for us to accept at this moment. But when we hear, when we accept, when we execute the very word of God, our net will be full. So let us pray that we may have the patience to wait upon the Lord. We may have the courage to face this fight and the struggle. We may have the ardor so that we may hold it whatever the circumstances, whatever the situation, and we, we, we shall overcome one day. And let's pray that God will be with us as he was with St. Joseph, as he was with disciples, and he will always be with us at any given circumstances to struggle and to win life. Amen. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. 
For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us now pray for our intercessions. Your response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, we pray for the Church that, empowered by the Holy Spirit, we may give convincing witness to the freeing and healing power of the risen Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Loving Father, we pray for Pope Francis, the shepherd of your Church. Strengthen and inspire him as he leads the Church in seeking the reign of your Kingdom deepening our loving service and growing in unity as one family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Loving Father, we pray for our country, particularly the masses and youth who are agitating for the change in the political and administrative system of our country. Inspire our leaders to listen to their voices and respond through peaceful means to resolve the issues and speedily direct this country towards recovery. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we pray for the families who sponsored the broadcast of this Mass and for those participating in the Mass from their homes, that God will fill them with His grace and bless them abundantly. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our own intentions silently. Let us pray as we keep the feast of St. Joseph the Worker for all those who labor and toil, those who are being exploited and those who work hard to earn their daily living, who struggle with life, with minimum needs. Let the Lord give them courage and strength and good health in mind and in body, that they may be instruments of God's own strength and they may always be the source of our country providing the better and the fruitful harvest for the country because it is because of those workers that we still survive because of their toil, because of their work. So let us really pray for them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
This is our Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause, for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
He took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her together with Francis R. Pope, Malcolm Cardinal Ranjit, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, as Jesus taught us to pray to the Father, his only request was to pray for the kingdom of God to come. Kingdom is already now and here. That's why we are struggling to realize this kingdom. So let us pray together with our Lord, with this prayer to the Father, asking the Lord to help us to live in a kingdom where we value the human dignity, where we value love, care, forgiveness, sharing, help, where we value each other and everyone so that we may always bring the kingdom of God into realization. With these words, with faith and confidence, let us pray to our Father. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await with blessed hope and the, and the coming of the Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, you are present and alive in the most holy sacrament. At this moment, I am unable to receive you sacramentally. I desire you to come spiritually into my soul. O oh, my Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Amen. This is my desire to honor you, Lord, with all my heart, I worship you. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh 
the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. We sincerely thank all the sponsors and their families who sponsored this live Mass and pray that God will bless them abundantly and to those who participated from their homes. May God bless you. God bless you, Father. Live from the Verbum TV Chapel, Devatta.